Now, I mentioned that I have a guest on the show and he is with me right now. This is Tim Spindler. Hello and welcome to the show. Hello, thanks for having me. Now, I invited you on the show because I came across your Facebook story and it totally captured the spirit of most creatives at the moment. So can you just explain to everyone the challenge that you set yourself during this lockdown period? So the challenge is to create um, and record something every single day during this lockdown. That could be um, a a short story, it could be a piece of music. Um, So each week I'm trying to give myself um, a specific task challenge and then follow through every single day, post something every single day. uh, And yes, it's been fun so far. That's amazing. I mean, that's quite a task because, well, I think it's brilliant and, and I think you sort of mentioned about sort of exercising the mind like you would the body. Yeah, so so I've seen a lot of people online um, during the first, second and, and third lockdowns kind of thinking, right, so I'm going to get in shape, I'm going to have my beach body ready for when the <laughs> lockdown's finished. Um, uh, that's not something that interests me at all. So, so I thought, what can I exercise? I can, I can stay creatively fit. I can you know, exercise my creative muscles, write something, do some music. These are the things that I, I think I'm good at. So by, by challenging myself like this, it's, it's like I'm, I'm ready for when the lockdown finishes. I'm ready to get back out there and perform. And, uh, That's you know. so good. Well done, you. And I have to say, they are brilliant. And originally, I thought you were reading from a book or something but it's all original I mean the stories that um, you you recite are all original material yeah um, so it's like I would give myself a buzzword every day uh, um, you know one of the days was a fish one of the days was a, a guitar um, and, and then I just kind of start writing almost like a, a kind of um, like your train of thought just writing down stuff and eventually um, a story starts to come And then once they're done, I I put a piece, I I write some music to kind of play over the back of it as well. Um, And then, yeah, you have something kind of original at the end of it. And And this is all in a day? Yes, yeah. So (laughs) I would kind of, um, I've got into a bit of a routine of kind of waking up and and spending the morning trying to think of an idea, like a a buzzword, something that kind of, um, you know, tickles my fancy. And in the afternoon after lunch, I'll sit down in the in front of the computer and just and just go <laughs> that's so good and it is really broad i mean going let's say the original stories you've got mm-hmm. cats a shipwreck elephants forest i mean it's really <laughs> broad yeah. <laughs> it is yeah so so one of the th- i uh, originally tried to to make it a bit of a, a kind of a community thing and, and in the comments people would um suggest something um that became quite tricky eventually because people were suggesting really kind of obscure things what what was the Um, most bizarre word or story that they gave you so elephant was my mum's uh, my dad actually (laughs) said can you write a story about an earthworm and that i kind of (laughs) i thought actually (laughs) thanks dad this might be a step too far because earthworms aren't the most interesting things (laughs) i might come back to it you never know however i have to say your penne arrabbiata recipe recital (laughs) did make me chuckle i mean was that an Italians idea typically obsessed with pasta uh, well uh, I live with two Italians oh, um, there you go. my my better half Emmy and uh, her friend Andrea moved in with us last year bless him he moved at the start of the first lockdown oh. kind of moved to England had two weeks of freedom and then since then he's been oh, you know bless shut away. Him. well though Italy's <laughs> no better so uh. well, this is it. Um, but yeah living with them has has uh, given me love of, of food and all things Italian so Aww. there was one there was one particular day last week where I was completely stuck I spent all day going I can't do this I really have nothing to write about I have complete kind of writer's block and I'd made it for lunch and it's one of my favourite recipes and so I thought <laughs> do you know what I'm just going to take the recipe put it from a kind of storytelling point of view and put some cheesy recipe music behind it and it ended up being hilarious and brilliant oh, so good it. yeah <laughs> it is it's excellent and it's a real recipe so you can actually follow it and make oh, yourself yeah. a pinata piata it's really good <laughs> <laughs> um and so then you moved on to music i mean yeah, you, you, instrumental pieces yeah. instrumental pieces so tell us a bit about that i mean they are brilliant i have to say and what i do is i tend to not read your text and then listen to the piece of music and try and guess the mood yeah, yeah. Uh, that you're trying to convey and I have to tell you you're spot on I mean I really think that they're great <laughs> well, yeah it's, it's um 
in a similar way to the stories, I, I try and think of a, um, again, a buzzword. It, it could be like an emotion or a feeling or something that that's kind of weighing on me. Yeah. And again, with these ones, I've tried to, I would ordinarily write in a, um, a theatrical style or, or a kind of rock style. That's what I grew up with. But yeah. for these, um, it's my other half, actually, when she's working, she listens to these kind of um, lo-fi instrumental recordings, really minimal uh, drum beats and instruments. Yeah. And so I, I tried to kind of challenge myself there as well, put myself in a genre that I, I had known nothing about and then just and just go. And I've really enjoyed working with, with little, so little. It's literally, in most of them, there's about four instruments, if that. That's, and yeah, that's amazing. really stripped back and... I've really enjoyed doing them actually it's kind of it's pushed me out of my comfort zone yeah and, and maybe it's something that you'll find um I don't know that, that that will generate work I mean there are sort of you kind of I do yoga and you and these sort of pieces of music when I'm listening to I'm like god these would be great Could for a yoga practice downward dog when I'm listening to it. yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> is there a piece that is you know your particular favorite that you're really proud of yeah so with with the stories i really like the um i did one about uh, a luthier like a guitar um okay about an old guitar and that's an idea that i've had for a long time that i'd, I'd love to turn into you know like a screenplay or, or a, a piece of theater one day and 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 so Amazing. i tried to take that and turn that into a really short story i love that um and from the music there was a piece i did called focus that I, I really like. I really like that. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, that is like lovely. I mean, little babies from the lockdown. It's hard to choose one. Really. Yeah, <laughs> I'm playing one at the minute in the background. Um, hopefully, you can hear. But it's my particular favourite, and it's Hope. I thought it was lovely. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, it was kind of. Um, I was listening to some uh, Irish music the day before. Oh, really? And, so, and that's and what so you think sparked. Uh, yeah, there's a guitar line in the back of it that's kind of inspired by um, that kind of Irish fiddle. Um, that, I, that really just kind of touched me the day before, and so when I sat down, that's that's what kind of came through. It's it's, it's all been really that's organic, brilliant. all of it. And yeah, so it's, it's it's helped a lot. And um, and sort of saying that, uh, I think I have to say, sort of the creative industry. I mean, it has been knocked massively um, mm -hmm. this year, but I keep coming across people that are doing just such great things and really innovative and things that you just probably would never have done had this sort of not come about um do you feel like that there is some good <laughs> that's come out of all of this there there is absolutely um uh, there's a there's a couple of schools that i that i work with occasionally um uh performing arts schools and they've obviously had to push everything yeah. that they're doing online to zoom and things but but some of the stuff they've come up with it's almost like we've done more in a way i mean in 2019 we wrote um we wrote a musical and we put a musical on in in wokingham um but that took us the best part of six or seven months to put it together and it was kind of working at our own pace but i feel like where we've been restricted a little and and uh you know told to kind of stay indoors yeah, yeah. it's almost forced us to to do more and i think in yeah. this i've now done 14 original pieces of of you know just little bits and pieces Amazing. but that's still 14 more than I did maybe last yeah um, January or last February so um so well, yeah because then you we get carry it forward you, you're sort of working aren't you and you'll be out and you, you find that time doesn't allow maybe for you to do as much as you'd like yeah, yeah, you're right. so it's quite nice to sort of be at home and actually um try and focus your mind or really sit down and think right I want to do this and I'm gonna do this and you know sometimes you wake up and you really don't want to so it's uh -huh. great that you sort of <laughs> gave yourself that challenge to say well no I'm doing yeah. this and whether I hate it or not and I know that I've seen on some of your pieces you're like oh I'm not keen on this one but it is what it is I said that I yeah. was gonna do it I said I was gonna put it out which is brilliant yeah and, so, and there, there are a few that that I'm not too fond of but it, it, it is it's still you know this is yeah. my work what's yeah. and all this is <laughs> this is what i made today oh, and it's brilliant. you know no no i think good. it's absolutely great now i've got to say you do release music under the name forget about jill which i have to say is an absolutely brilliant name um what is the story behind the name so 
it came from a song that I wrote. Again, it must have been around 10 years ago or so when I left university. Um, I had this big plan when I was at university that I was going to leave uni. I was going to move to London and, you know, seek my fortune, kind of Dick Whittington yeah. style. And it kind of never really yeah. happened. Um, and so I got home and I ended up writing this song um, called Mr. Pessimistic. And the, the song is a sequel to the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. You know, Jack falls down the hill, he breaks his crown. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's what happened to him afterwards. What did he do afterwards? He's down in the dumps. And so it had this lyric that said, um, when Jack got back from his fall down the hill, he put his life in the hands of a little white pill that helped him to forget about Jill. <laughs> and so that ended up being kind of my... It was kind of my trademark song in this little kind of in the in, in when I did the rounds of the local pubs, the open That's mic nights, so it became good. this kind of trademark song. It's on the it's on my my Spotify, it's um and I think it's on YouTube as well. But that that lyric stuck. Forget about Jill, and it yeah. became this kind of this moniker that I that I do things under. Um, That's yeah. brilliant. Oh, and it's a great name. What a lovely story. <laughs> um, well, on that note, um, it's been an absolute joy talking to you, and I'm going to play a song from Forget About Jill. Um, what am I playing? Shakespearean Tragedy. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> and when was this written? So this was actually written um, during the first lockdown. So when the first lockdown Oh, wow. Around, so last year. Um, yeah, so it's, it's about a year old now. Um, yeah. Almost. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 it sticks in my mind as, as a high point of, of last year, it's as, as bad as it was at times. That yeah. was a highlight when I, when I released that song. That's excellent. And you've said that you're going to do uh, an original piece every day during lockdown. I think mm. feeling slightly worried for you because we don't know how long this lockdown's lasting. No. Are you going <laughs> to stick to it? Yes, I, I, I'm thinking that this next week um, may be uh, a covers week. You know, you know what they do on Oh, Netflix, nice. So, so yeah. I think I might do a covers week each day, take a song that I love and rework it into my own what a brilliant um, idea. In my own way, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, just to let people know, the background at the minute is now ambition. Mm-hmm. Before it was um, hope. Um, and if you do like what you hear, you can check out Tim's material on YouTube. Mm-hmm, yeah. Under the name Forget About Jill. Subscribe. There's all the pieces on there. And there are some pieces also on Spotify brilliant thank you for joining me tim thank you thank you for having me take care enjoy this piece of music everyone
10 p.m. And the blue light from my phone screen hurts my eyes. 10 p.m. And your face has never left my mind. Let an hour pass. I'm still not sure who I want to be. Sleep.